Hi folks, once again we had to sign in at the last second again, even though everything was set up previously. Uh, tonight, I'm going to have to wait a few seconds and check the stream, because we're supposed to have a normal widescreen on our video. It's something we've been missing here. And I'll say hi to people while we're waiting to make sure the stream is going good. Hopefully that's all running good. Hi Craig, Kurtzer, Kate. Uh, Lori, Albert, Stetson, I was laughing my butt off at you, telling the sailors got to come back from war and kill all the leaders. That's some funny shit, man, on the last video of CNN. Oh, here we go, hang on. Nope, still never got a widescreen. We still never got a live stream, uh, like a widescreen. I'll try again tomorrow night, but at least it's not screwed up. It's a new setting. It's a higher quality setting. Let's rock and roll. Big now. Toxic, Diver Dude, Brian, Catcher K, DC, AG Green Road Project, Bartender, one serving of free bananas. Big now TV, Craig, just passing through, Spider Guy, Standing Foot, Pam, Red Button Studio. Uh... So there was two, yeah, I see that. There was four thumbs down on the inside red button. And now there's only two thumbs down. Whatever. Uh, Cats Alive, thank you. Uh, still really good, 42 thumbs up. That's pretty darn good. Angela, Kevin, want to be live 24. JD, I'm just catch everybody. DZ, John Thousand. Um, did I miss anybody? Lunar, Scramble Tank. Jesus, they're all coming in. MSVS. That's awesome. I'm echoing. Do you have a... Uh, yeah, that's because I had the audio on here for a second. I'm not still echoing, though, am I? Anybody? Audio's good. It seemed good when I just played it back. Uh, just hang on one second. We're almost ready. Anybody don't know what's going on? This is a live stream. It's around 7 or 8 p.m. Pacific time, British Columbia, Canada, each night. I'm pretty good like that. Uh, some days are not going to be like that, but um, we're off to a rip-roaring start. 562 comments. What the hell have you guys been doing here? <laughs> That's huge. And by the way, I just put a link in below. Um, West Coast residents, dead man walking from Fukushima radiation. There's a video. That's at uh, Before It's News. That's Susan. And you'll find that the first link below, but you also see her down with great people. Really cool people list I got down there. Susan has supported us, folks, from day one, okay? Most of the big numbers I got on my sites for Fukushima videos came from her. She's relentless in supporting us, but you don't really hear about her that much. It's important sometimes <laughs> that the people that really truly make a huge difference that I spank myself for not mentioning her more often but that's just how it goes when you get involved in this racket I was had to put out a CNN video and Dr. Um, Cham Dallas I mean that's outrageous that he's the expert he's the person all the media turns to and he's a blatant lawyer and then any media out there could tear him apart any media out there could destroy his narrative but they all like, thanks a lot, doctor. That's good to hear. Like, it's like, not a single one of them out there got a grain of common sense. And the fact is that they just read teleprompters and they have to sell whoever they got on. They're worn out. They're just whores. They're media whores. They're pimps for the pro-nuclear industry. But it shows you how desperate they are. They're coming out lying, saying the U.S. says Ronald Reagan was 100 miles off the coast when the people on the Ronald Reagan said they were a mile off the coast. That's from their own words. I mean, for them to come out and lie, that would perjure themselves in court later. They would lose any cases right away. They're telling you they're a mile off the coastline because they were a mile off the coastline. 5,000 of them. And here's Dr. Um, Dallas, right, from the University of Georgia. We need to put a complaint in about his certificate. He shouldn't be allowed to come out and lie like that and have a degree. Okay, the degree is so he's supposed to be honest and he's supposed to be able to trust a guy. The media sticks him up there because he's got the degree. But there's these blatant lies. And he's saying now today on CNN, oh, no, it's like an airplane uh, flight. 
went back uh, a couple of years ago, and you've seen the clip there that I got tonight on that, where he says 17 sailors had to be decontaminated. That's astounding. That's astounding, okay? That he can flip from 17 sailors got to be decontaminated to it's like flying in an airplane. If you fly in an airplane, you don't ingest radioactive isotopes or you're not getting nuclear fission isotopes, okay? It's just normal insignificant radiation. You get off the plane, that's the end of it. You ingest a radioactive isotope like the people on the deck of the USS Ronald Reagan and it's in your body, it sequesters. If it's cesium, it goes right to your heart. If it's strontium-90, it's going right into your bones, right into your muscles, <clears throat> iodine in your throat. High doses will cause all the diseases and injuries that they're, they're talking about. And they were within one mile. We know that there's three meltdowns, even though Chase says, oh, you know, it wasn't like Chernobyl where there was a full meltdown. Chernobyl was actually only a 30% meltdown. The guy is an outrageous lawyer. It's blatant lies. And the University of Victoria, the students there, need to oust him. And they need to hold that university accountable. People have to do that. It's no good for me to come out with a video and say, here's a friggin' lawyer, if somebody's not going to rally behind that and go after him, take him down. Because that's the information you needed. Right? That's the information that you needed to destroy his narrative. He's destroyed. His credibility is destroyed right there in that one video. But he'll be up on media tomorrow. He'll be up on media next week, next month, next year, the year after. And so where does it stop? Well, this is a time and an age where we can hold them accountable. I fired the first shot across the bow. The remix button is on that. You can download it and re-upload it to your site. You can send it out to media. You can tweet it out to people that has them on their broadcast and ask them why are they going to have them on the broadcast if you hear about a broadcast where are these people are going to be on the broadcast call them up right then call them up right then and say I, I object to having this guy on and if he gets up on there and lies we're going to take you to the CRTC you know you got to do something with them they're scared of you they're terrorized of you and as long as you don't fire back as long as you don't come out and call them out They'll just keep doing it and they'll get more blatant. They'll get more out of control. To come out and say that he also said there's no way he can get over to North America, obviously he never heard of the jet streams. It only takes about two days, two and a half days, for it to reach most of North America. Even at 100 miles per hour, it's going to reach here in two and a half days. Every 24 hours, 2,400 miles. But the jet streams can travel up to 400 miles an hour in some places. Right? It's like they're telling you the ocean plume won't get here for six or eight years. But the ocean currents travel at up to nine kilometers an hour. At one mile an hour, it's here in 227 days. And so every day there's a new plume coming out. And so the first plume is here, 227 days. The next day, 228-day uh, plumes are coming across the ocean, right? There's 227 plumes right behind us. You see how that really works? And not only that, the rain will pick it up and bring it in. Thousands of miles of rain will carry it in along your coastline. But it's not only that, it was brought up into your troposphere. And so it was raining out. But not only that, we got the CCM-137 models from the U.S. government showing the entire northern hemisphere blanketed in CCM-137. Of course, you can't have it without CCM-134. CCM-137 goes right to your heart muscles. Also, destroys your organs, causes permanent lesions on your organs. Now, you can handle a big dose, right, and still have a relatively normal life. A child can't. A child is 10 to 100 times more vulnerable to the same dose that you got. <clears throat> and, you know, when you're on the U.S., the deck of the U.S. Ronald Reagan, of course, all the media is coming out and lying about that, and that's why I got the title of the video tonight. They're literally groveling. Because that's what Dr. Chase, I'm not going to call him doctor no more, that's what Chase Dallas is. He's a pro-nuclear think tank. That's what all universities are. They're pro-nuclear think tanks. None of them have managed to develop a sarcophagus. That's why they're dumping all this stuff in the ocean, because they're murderers and they're monsters. Their license and agreement, and the universities know this, is that it's supposed to be in a sarcophagus. The universities don't even try.
They don't even try. But back to Susan at Before It's News. Susan's been there quite a long time. She's extremely good at what she does. West Coast residents, dead man walking from Fukushima radiation. And there's a link below to the, fir the first link. When the West Coast finally understands the danger they are in, there will be panic exodus. That's unimaginable. Steve Quay. As I said in the video, by then it will be too late. It probably already is. Now I'm just reading what they're saying here. The media constantly, almost complacently reports yet another 100 tons of radioactive water has leaked from the holding tanks at Fukushima. We don't care about the 100 tons that leaked from the tank. We really don't. That's irrelevant. Tell them about the thousands of tons that are running out of the plant every day and picking up all those isotopes from the missing coriums, the melted cores, and from the detonation that spread at rods all over that site and are creating their own uh, isotopes, the pieces, right? It's unimaginable what's going on. There's a link below the unit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 where I break it all down. It covers the ocean and it covers the aerosol in the jet streams. It's the very basis, but I got all the original pictures. Everything is original in that 22-minute presentation of unit 1 to 6. I got them all in that. That's not all the information about them, but it's the introduction so you know you actually have, by watching that, you'll have a better understanding than most people out there. Certainly, you know, uh, that applies to people that never watch these videos because that's what we do. We cover the news. We cover the facts. We cover everything that got buried. We cover all the institutions, all the professors, all the academic journals, right and wrong. And we try to make sense out of it with rationality and just facts. It's no good for me to come out and make stuff up or because you don't have to. It's no good for me to come out and misrepresent something because that would be the stupidest thing I could do. The easiest way to discredit me is just to go find simple mistakes that I've probably made and then use that over and over to destroy me. That's what people do. I don't care. It's not going to stop me. But that's what that's the typical rule and the trick is. To find any kind of mistake or simple mistake or big mistake, anything like that. I can cover a hundred articles. They'll find a single article where it's screwed up and then use that to bludgeon me. And use that to convince themselves that I must be wrong. There's no rationality in that narrative, but they do that because they're, you know, they're listening to the media, they're listening to CNN, right, back up the Pentagon. When they got all the people on the USS Ronald Reagan saying, hey, we're a mile off the coast, they don't bother coming in and say, well, the crew says they're a mile off the coast. Remember on the US Ronald Reagan, they had to take out 12 engines out of the helicopters because they were contaminated with high levels of radiation. And the people that were working on that, of course they're going to get sick. How could you not? And to come out and demonize these people and to marginalize them constantly shows you, truly shows you, that they don't care. That on the one hand, oh, we got to support the troops, on the other hand, it's fuck them. It's unbelievable that they're not burnt down. They don't deserve to be treated like a normal person if they're going to do stuff like that they know better there is no reason to come out and lie and deceive and manipulate there truly isn't <sighs> i gotta drink some more tea dandelion dandelion root tea folks it's got all the minerals all the nutrients oh and that reminds me natural news the the health ranger put out an amazing study amazing study hang on I screwed up put out an amazing study battle for humanity nearly lost global food supply deliberately engineered to end life not nourish it what have we talked about every single day well they went and done the they went and done the, the very expensive lab uh, jobs on this or experiments on it and once again, they show definitively that not only is there no nutrients in that food, GMO food, like craft, if you, all you eat is craft, you will starve to death. You will starve to death. And the toxins that are engineered into it, holy crap, look at the comment section go, what the hell? 
that's like a hundred comments rolling there okay I'm just gonna get rid of the flash because this thing is making a lot of noise hey I got another program on my last computer that got you know I was talking about last week how my best computer got uh, destroyed well I went and uh, bought a new window operating system and I got it installed on it so it's working it's doing updates all day to day. That's that's good news, trust me. I got everything backed up on hard drives. I'll re-put it back up on that computer. But that computer is used for rendering uh, big big files, and it's also used uh, for reading. It's a very important computer to me. And uh, I got it working again. That makes me really happy. But they killed the system. Right? They killed the whole operating system. You know, that's what I do for a living. I fix computers, okay? Just to be on the clear about that. And by the way, my name is Dana Durnford. I'm still getting these emails. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? My name is Dana Durnford. I'm going to try to remember to start off every video like that. That's starting to get under my skin. I can't keep up with it anymore. And uh, what difference does it make anyway? Find the lies or the manipulations or the deception if you're trying to discredit me. And discredit me. Go knock your socks off. I look forward to it. Send it to me. I don't got nothing to hide. That's why I'm here every night. I didn't do nothing. I'm not the bad person. Okay? I'm not influenced. You can't buy me off. You can't pay me off. You can't threaten me. And you can't intimidate me to say anything but the facts. That's how come I do the things I do. Is because I research. And I research uh, uranium-238 used in conflict and supposed to be in a sarcophagus till the end of time for almost eight years and so I flipped over to Fukushima which was hard to do really because I had to learn about everything else and so it was a huge learning curve in that sense where I, I had to get up to speed and that took me about 30 days to actually get back up to speed to what I normally would be on a subject because uh, it's amazing how much is hit away and that's what we do here all the time is we cover the stuff that got buried by the mass media itself as it was coming out remember everything that came out there was just hundreds of millions of articles uh, every couple of days on the tsunami and the victims the survivors the carnage the actual footage the heartbreak and that was heartbreak don't get me wrong I had put out a video Immediately, the minute we heard the word tsunami, I put out a video on my site as fast as I could, just in case somebody watching had a friend, could phone them and they can get out of the way. You know, that's why I made that video. I was heartbroken. I understood what was happening. And then about 18 hours later, I put out another video, a 20-odd minute video, about the nuclear power plants and how they became updated and what that actually means to me and to them, you know, what. Because I realized this was a serious event happening, uh, uh, like an unimaginable event. And sure enough, you know, there was so much noise about this that I became complacent. That I thought, oh, well, there's so many people out there now, I don't even have to worry about it. But it turns out that was a huge mistake on my part that I'll never, um, you know, that I, I can never reconcile. But I'm trying to make up for it every single day because... Somehow or another, I thought with everybody screaming about the radiation that we had this under control and that peop we had uh, checks and balances now that were really on the ball because this, I knew how bad it was. Don't, I, I had made videos along the way, but once I came to the realization, thanks to Miss Milky, the clown, uh, you know, thanks to her, her, her persistence in, in, in just being a nice person, I came to the realization, holy crap, you know, how could I miss uh, the significance of what I'm looking at? And then the nightmares became uh, real for me. It was nonstop. The media was constantly lying. As I checked out what they said, it turns out to be a lie. And that's how truly I became doing what we're doing right now is I can't handle the lies. I can't handle the fabrications. I can't handle the PR firms manipulating children and uh, the people that are paying the bills like they were. I just couldn't take that anymore. It blew me away. And so there was a lot of anger in my first month. I still is, but there was a lot of anger my first month 
because of these people. And once again, tonight I had to slap up another video of CNN throwing the USS Ronald Reagan crew under the bus. They get inundated with plutonium, uranium, strontium. Remember, the plumes made it all the way to the west coast. Right? All the way to the west coast of Japan. Right away. The plumes. These are real plumes. You had three melted reactors that detonated, and you had building four detonated and caught fire toys. You had inconceivable amount of radiation across the country where it's averaging now around 300,000 becquels right across the entire country. That's inconceivable. Living in an area with 50 becquels of any kind of uh, nuclear radiation, not potassium-40, which is insignificant, not the normal insignificant radiation of uranium that has no... You can fill this building up with rocks, I'll never get cancer. You can fill the building up with bananas, I'll never get cancer. I can swim in the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean I have. You're not going to get cancer from the natural uranium in the water. You get potassium-40 in drinking water, that's not going to give you cancer. You off-gas these radiations, they're, they're natural, they're insignificant, your body works like a thermostat, like a cruise control, right? And so, but that's the law eh, that the media keeps pumping down your throat, it keeps pumping down your children's throat, keeps pumping down all your friends' throats, all your workers, the people you work with, their throats, and when you try to have a lucid conversation with them, they're trying, it's not their fault, that they've been indoctrinated, they don't know any better. You can't blame them, you can't get angry with them, and you can't dismiss them. You gotta learn how to talk to them. You gotta learn to say, actually, you know, you can get 9,000 becquels of normal radiation in a cup of water, but if that was 9,000 becquels of cesium-137 and you drank it, it'd kill you. If that was 9,000 becquels of plutonium, uranium, or iodine, or strontium, right, you're finished. You can't get it out of your body. You have tumors through your entire body in no time at all because you have hot particles in your body. That don't take 15 or 20 years to grow that kind of cancer, okay? That's going to show up in a couple of years at best. That's very powerful stuff. Particularly if you were to drink a glass of it or get a shower in that kind of stuff. Can you imagine getting a shower in 9,000 Beckwells of CCM-137 or CCM-134 or iodine 131 or iodine 129 with a 15 million year half-life and every three iodine 131s there's an iodine 129 or iodine 132 or iodine 133 huh did you huh can you imagine getting a shower and that shit taking a bat and that stuff letting your child drink that cooking your food and that you got any idea what that would do to you but you could do it with potassium 40 9,000 becquels potassium-40, disintegrations, decays per second, is irrelevant. It's got nothing to do with Fukushima. It's got nothing to do with nuclear power. Right? And the people that are saying it needs a shot in the head. They're the traitors. They're the mass murderers. They're the manipulators. They're the cowards. They're the deception. They're the deceivers. They're the, the fake. The fake media. It's totally fake. It's disgusting. It's despicable. It is. I gotta have another drink of my tea now. Potassium 40, I got like 9,000 Beckwalls. Everybody, good boy. Uh, here we go. Ah, take potassium 40, gonna die. That was CC in 137. I would be gone. I'd be dive, hit the floor, and crawl away. Out the door, strip off everything I got, and I'd be the most terrorized person on the planet. <coughs> I don't know about that part, but don't waste money on a tube type or a photo. Diod type we're talking about. Geiger Kenners, AG, Green Road. They got a great site, folks. They're hard. They're hard workers. They've been around a lot longer than I have. They've been more diligent. Constantly out there hammering back at the system. Missing Sky is out there. There's Nuber Magic is out there. There's Kevin. Um, 
is out there. You got Thomas Ackerman is out there. You got Susan who's supporting us all the way through. She's just back from a big move. And you got so many people out there, right? Yourselves included in particular, who are here every night. I don't know how the hell you guys do it. You folks do it. You're pretty awesome. Don't make no mistakes. I know that. I get that. I understand that. Because I read all your comments. Right? And you general, you're genuinely trying to uh, has a re have a resolution for this. Some kind of debate about this, right? And I admire that. That drives me too, okay? That's... That's strength for me, right? I need that as much as you need this. And I, I need exactly what I got. I don't need any more in that sense, right? I don't wish for any more, I should say. Yeah, if I had a million subscribers, don't think I wouldn't drop these guys on their heads in a hurry. Don't think I wouldn't spend 10 hours a day typing. Don't think I wouldn't be organized. I know people have asked me, when am I going to get up to my studio? Well, I got a couple of scooter scooter videos there. Kind of breaks that down, unfortunately. I can't get up there into the studio because I get sick driving in cars. And so the studio's sitting there just waiting. All the paint is done, right? The studio's coming, don't get me wrong. All the painting is done. We got all brand new trim all around the building. We just paid the rent again. Everything is looking good. Right, I'm not doing this by myself, okay? Uh, it's 1,100 square feet. We got uh, the highest speed connection of internet there, period, you can have. It's really good. It's the business. We got the international telephone set up there now. It's really good. Right, we're going to have that set up with a really good speaker system. Uh, and the idea is we can call up these people, right? Instead of me doing what I'm doing here tonight, I can do the same thing, but I'll have the phone ringing. I'll have a high quality system. I can bring people into the stream with a very high bandwidth. I can run streams. I can do all kinds of what I need to do, right? This is what I need to do. I have so information, so much stuff on this that I need to centralize it. Nothing's going to change about me because I'm going to go into the studio. It just means I got a real platform. I can actually perform. I'm only good. I'm only as good as my competition. Okay. I'm only good as the people I'm up against. It was like that in martial arts. You're only good as the person you're fighting. If you're fighting someone in superior or, or inferior to you, you know, it's hard to, it's, you, it's not a really a fight, right? But when you fight people that are very intelligent, you can get them on the phone and listen to them wiggle and worm, and I can trip them up and tip them over and shove them into the wall a few times. Yeah, that takes the wind out of their sails, okay? That brings it to a whole new level. We will be a .org so I can do press releases. Right, because I'll be the, you know, I, I will have the corporation up and running in a few weeks as a .org so that I can do press releases, so that I can make noises, so that I have a venue that people can use, and so that, because that's what we need to fit into the media paradigm is we need a .org, and I need it to be independent, so I have to do everything myself, right? I mean, yes, down the road I might take uh, donations from people, I thought about that, uh, but it's not necessary for me right at the moment. I can do everything on my own. I need to show a commitment as far as I'm concerned before I can ask anybody for anything. I have to show you that I am truly committed, 100%. Not that you people don't understand that part, that you know that about me, that I am committed. It's just that as I move out there into the interview world, they have to, right? Because they'll, they'll shy away from anything that's just... You know, people calling them up randomly. When a .org calls them up, they got a tendency to give it um, more weight, right? And so we're, that's what we're—that's the whole intention, is to give us a platform that we can then send out to you folks, and you folks can see the truth, right? And that they had their opportunity. We give them the opportunity. We always, instead of me just calling them out, I'll phone them up, right? And keep phoning them. <laughs> got to get a speed dial on that sucker. Because that's what it's going to be used for. Cool.org. I was thinking about isodope.org, but uh, I changed my mind after a while because I figured that would get used against us. Isodope. <laughs> Just playing the word, right? But I liked it, but I said, nah, they'll beat the daylight out of me if I use that. Uh, bup, bup, bup. Okay. 
I can't keep up. Uh, thank you, Mary. Thomas, uh, I'm not going to, I guess I'm gonna, I will muddle your name again. Schoenberger? Show, show, S-C-H-O-E-N-B-E-R-G-E-R. -E -E if you don't know Thomas, he, you'll find him in the second video of my favorites. Uh, if you can't find his link later on, because you're watching this later on, basically. But you'll see him in the conversation right now if you're here. The conversation is to the left of us. Thomas has some amazing vocals, bud. I, I stole everything you got. Sorry for my own personal collection. <laughs> and we'll be buying everything you got here in a, in a little short while. I'll put in my collection too, Thomas. Just like I do with all the other artists on my side. But Thomas, I really, truly do like his vocals. They're, they're truly outstanding. That's something that I specialize in. If you're not familiar, there's a couple of thousand artists on my site. And Thomas is one of the best ones there by far. He's like, he's an unimaginable, talented person. And he's, uh, he's not into lies or manipulations or deception. He understands the significance of this and he has put his support behind us. That is definitely appreciated. And you should check him out. He's worth checking out. There's no way you can't like his music. His vocals are fa fantastic, and his lyrics are just number one on top of that. And I like doing that sometimes. Weather modification? Hi, Terry. I didn't see your messages, dear. I looked just before it came online. It's in your comment that I get your messages. There's not a single message, dear, with your name on it, Terry. Even though you said you sent me messages, there's no messages. There's no comments from you in my Google, Google section and uh, so I don't know if you sent me something that didn't show up is all I can tell you you got to realize folks I'm getting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of messages a day I can't possibly keep up with it I do manage to flash through it all read it all and I'll have to go look you know if you send me a link I will have to go look at that I will have to read it and I will have to watch it right because that's just the way it is I can't that's why I, it's dear so you can do that but when it's just people and don't get me wrong, which is really cool, saying hi to me. I try to say hi back as quick as I can. Hi, thanks, right? But I did take the time to read your message. I did probably open up your site. And just so I can have a, a memory of you for the next time, right, that I encounter you. That's how I, that's why I got all that music on my site, because I'm really good at that kind of routine. And so I, I, in order for me to read everything and watch everything that gets sent to me every day, uh, I have to do this all day, every day, and so that's what I do. I do this all day, every day, and you never know what's so important. You just don't know what's going to click and connect all the dots together for you. Remember, Chernobyl was a 30% meltdown. It's one-third the size of Fukushima. They, they were sending people out on the roof for 15 seconds, and then they went home. And Chernobyl, they're taking the homeless, and they never get to go home until they're ready to die. It's unconscionable. But it shows you the gravity of what we're up against, how actually serious this truly is. The fact that they're lying about the U.S. Ronald Reagan and saying it was 100 miles offshore, it's a blatant lie because it was a mile offshore. That's a huge difference. CNN knows better. Dr. Dallas, in the video I just posted uh, an hour and a half ago, knows better. Right? And they put on the suit and tie. I don't even know how they can breed like that. And then they lie. And at what point, at what point, because they're yelling fire in the theater while the movie is on and people are getting killed. That's exactly what they're doing. They're yelling fire in the theater and it's illegal. Under their licensing, there are PhDs in that. They're not allowed to come out and use a PhD to lie and manipulate and deceive, particularly if they teach at a university, but there they are. The university don't, never holds them accountable. There's endless videos of them doing it. Are the universities uh, that complacent? That, or, or are they just pro-nuclear? They're pro-nuclear. Where do you think they get their orders from? The nuclear lobbyist tells the universities what kind of study, excuse me, what they want done. Uh, let me run back up for a second. Uh, Sometimes the comment section just cracks me up, howling. And uh, let me, I gotta refresh my page, so I might jump for a second here. That's gonna make me sign in on this computer. Right, that's why I was late getting on, 
as I went to uh, start the stream, it says, maybe you're not signed in. But of course I was signed in. And so it's something really, it's something, now this computer is going to freeze up. Great. I got no stats on it now, 34 minutes. Let me move over and finish the last 25 minutes of the show off, because we're up to 34 minutes. Let me uh, bring up the headlines. And once again, let me bring up that headline, Battle for Humanity is nearly lost. So type in that headline, Battle for Humanity nearly lost. The global food supply deliberately engineered to end life, not nourish it. Thursday, February 20th, 2014. Get that, take a screen capture of it, and send it out to your friends and your families and your loved ones and tell them to read it, okay? I read it about six times now and I don't find a single flaw in it. On contraire, I find it to be extraordinary. I'm jealous that he wrote that in that sense. I'm extraordinarily happy. And uh, Mike Adams, you know, I've known Mike uh, on YouTube now for many years. If you go back to my comments on my site, you'll see Mike there talking, uh, sending messages to me, and putting information there, okay? And I follow Mike, I know Mike quite a while, we chatted back and forth. Mike is genuine. He's generally a nice person, okay? The things he's done, his entire history is outstanding. What he's doing right now is inconceivably outstanding, where he took all the money he's making and he got a real lab with hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment, and he's taking all the fast food joints and analyzing it on the spectrometers, under all the equipment, and then he's publishing the results. And so he's doing uh, academic studies. It takes him months and months to, to get the study completed, and then he puts it up on his site. It's fantastic. And he's like me. He doesn't pull any punches. He's not pulling any games. He understands the urgency. He's like you, where he, he's, he's committed, okay? And you can't get any more committed than that. He's using every venue out there to get his word out. And that's all he does is get his word out. You will never see him out there uh, like the other uh, lap dogs that are out there putting information out. You'll see him out there with just perfectly researched, perfectly choreographed videos. He's an outstanding person, okay? And his whole article, it's a long article, uh, Life-destroying toxins intentionally engineered into the food supply. Well, if you're getting all this radiation, and you are, because we covered that now over 90 days, 90 shows or something. I've been saying that for weeks. But over 90 shows, we, we and I'm going to go over to those headlines. I just wanted to make sure that people watching this after or watching it now will find that because it will resonate with you because you've heard me talk about it so much. But he goes into so many details. It's It's really good. It's really good. I'm really proud of him. I support him 100%, okay? That's fantastic. He just blew the lid off it, off the entire GMO food industry. He destroyed them in a single article. It's the best article I've ever read about it. I can't say enough good things. And I brought that page down because I wanted to get you something else. Oh, yeah, 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 here we go. Hang on. So let's go down the path of... Of let me see what I'm gonna do for you tonight. I got some really good stuff, you know. Japan, the ocean, radiation, Canada, USA. Let me see what about the USA. Did I cover that last night? Yeah, we covered that last night. We didn't get it all. That's okay. Hang on. Hey, I just want to get back to where I left off last night. Here we go. Gotcha. <coughs> I got to shift a couple of... Uh, spike in radiation levels for the West Coast, March 22nd, 2011. 11 days after Fukushima, abnormal readings at 8 out of 18 Environmental Protection Agency monitors, the EPA monitors for California, Oregon, and Washington... And the voices are now undergoing quality review. That's the most bizarre headline you can ever imagine. 
Well, maybe there's something wrong with eight of our detecting voices, devices at the one time. Eight of our radiation devices at the one time. I think there's something wrong because they're all showing us something. Right? Dr. Dallas said it can't make it over here. Thunderfoot said it can't make it over here. Right? Ken Buesler says it can't make it over here. going to turn the potassium 40 against 1,500 miles out to sea. Ah. Ah. They sound like old goats. Ah, it's not like sheep, really. I mean, it's the stupidest thing imaginable for anybody to say to you that there's no way for the radiation to get over here when it was found from one end of the country to North America, coastline, the Pacific Rim, all the way to Alaska. Radioactive fallout in Canada 300 times normal, insignificant background radiation. By the way, it could be 9,000 becquels. They don't tell you the numbers, but 300 times background radiation which could be 9,000 becquels, 300 times. really could. Like off California, 40 million becquels in a single beta kelp of uh, iodine-131, which came from a meltdown in Fukushima. No one denies that or debates that's where the iodine is coming from. It's found in your milk all the way across your countries, like we covered last night. And when 8 of 18 Environmental Protection Agency's uh, radiation monitors show high levels, you say, oh, they're probably broken. We're going to have to take them. They never put them back, right? It was a national security alert, a national security issue of why your government can't talk about it. They turned it into a national security issue so you couldn't know, so you couldn't know, and you paid them to tell you. Just like you pay all the universities, heats and lights and professors' wages. Like you give them billions and billions and billions. Canada does 35 billion a year. And 4,800 peer review academic studies are locked up every friggin' day. And the copyrights are given to Elsifer, Springer, and Wiley, half of them. And they're the best ones. And they're locked away. You gotta spend $15,000 just to get in and try to browse. And a lot of these journals could cost you a million dollars to read it. Certainly the cheapest deer is gonna be $50, $60. Think about an academic peer review, peer review study, you know, a thousand pages, five thousand pages, ten thousand pages, but just say average thousand pages, thousand man hours. You paid for it. The students worked like dogs for four years to produce it. Other institutions had to do the same thing to verify it. Other institutions might have had to do it. They had to pay extra money to the publisher to get them to publish it when it's your copyright. No kickbacks to anybody. You paid for everything. And a handful of the publishing, like Elsewhere, Springer, and Wiley, lock it up in the ivory tower. Imagine if you took 4,800 peer review academic studies and put nutrition back in your food and took the toxins out. Novel idea. I know. Dana, don't go there. That's like radical. But, I mean, I'm just saying. So that's just one headline. See what I can do. <laughs> It's hard to get two headlines in a row out of me, I know. State of Arizona found iodine-131 in Phoenix milk at 500 times higher than the EPA top reading for anywhere in continental USA. 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 Right? You're at the football games. USA. Rah, rah, rah. There's your nationalism, your patriotism. It's the stupidest thing imaginable. But people fall for it because it feels good, right? You know, it makes you feel, yeah, man, woo! We're the best in the world. 22 soldiers commit suicide on the street every fucking day. You got 300 rapes in the military every friggin' day. 27,000 a year. We created 5 million orphans in Afghanistan to get 11,000 Taliban. Woo! USA, woo! Right? You see how ludicrous it gets? You got two million widows in Iraq! Woo, USA, the greatest country in the world! Woo, to get 11,000 Taliban! You got millions in refugee camps. You shot five million bullets a month to get 11,000 Taliban every month. To get, you're the worst shots on the planet. The worst fucking shot on the planet. To get 11,000 Taliban, you fired five point I can't even, just say 5 million bullets a month, look it up in Iraq, and you'll find it from the government's website because they want more bullets to get 11,000 Taliban. 5 million bullets a month, every month. 
12 months a year for nine years. Half of them were dirty bombs. Uranium-238, left over from production of nuclear weapons. But all nuclear reactors are about making radioactive isotopes for directed energy weapons. That's all they're for. That's why the MOX fuel existed. MOX fuel is taking the missiles that they never used and refining them again and making crazy isotopes so they can make more powerful and powerful lasers. The price of lasers and directed energy is the death of Earth. It has no benefit. All it's meant to do is kill. We don't need these crazy isotopes to use for technology, for communications, and stuff like that. We need it to kill each other. Russia's doing it. China's doing it. The creatures in Israel are doing it. They're truly the most despicable things on the planet. India and Pakistan are doing it. All the nuclear, you know, all the nuclear countries are out there creating radioactive isotopes for directed energy weapons so they can kill each other in the future until the end of time. And the state of Arizona find iodine 131 in Phoenix milk at 500% higher than the EPA's top readings for anywhere else in continental USA, April 22nd, 2011. I mean, Lord goodness, what, what, you know, but no, no, the, there's no jet streams, Dana. How could it get over here? How could it? Because we got the models of the plumes going up five miles. We got the models of the plumes going up nine miles. And there's this phenomenon known as, uh, I know this is going to be pretty radical for someone to accept. It's called jet streams. And they don't call it jet because it just sits there, okay? They call it jet because it's like 400 miles an hour in some places. Faster. And so the ocean is 5,500 miles across. At 100 miles an hour, how long does it take to get across? 7,000 years or two and a half days, right? The ocean currents on the ocean itself, when the plume comes out, remember different layers of the ocean, different salinity, different temperatures, different speeds. They're like their own entity at different levels. I worked as a commercial diver six hours a day on the ocean floor, 315 days a year. I ran the biggest operations in Canada, period, on both coastlines, bar nobody. You'll never see it again. It'll never happen again. Because we were developing all the industries. And so I know things, okay, like that. That really, like when I, when I, when I, I read what's going on with the ocean, I get it. I understand it, you know. As I keep repeating here every night, and I have to repeat all the time, I have to inform people, you know, we have to keep people strong, keep people mentally, uh, mentally alert so that they can get out there and so they're ready to go so that they're the strike back, they're the Fukushima hounds, that's what they are, they're ferocious. I've seen trolls show up on my site, they won't come back. <laughs> Fukushima hounds will sort them out. So I made it to two headlines, that's pretty good, 15 minutes. <laughs> Studied here in New York after Fukushima disaster exceeded 3,400 picobecquels per cubic meter of iodine-131 gas. March 25th, 2013. We're talking about radioactive atoms. We're talking about radioactive particles. We're talking about bucky balls. Fucking bucky balls. I know I go a bit crazy sometimes. Uh, that was Springer. So it's all locked away, but there's a synopsis, right? Airborne gamma ray emitters from Fukushima detected in New York State. From the academic publishing houses of Springer. And if you go over to Springer, you type in Fukushima, you're going to get 3,900. Peer review academic studies that are published and locked up behind that paywall. And to get into the science section, you need $45,000. That doesn't mean you get to read it. It means you get to browse it. So if you go over to Springer and browse it, you're going to find nine peer review studies. They let you see the synopsis. The other 3,800, 992 are locked away beyond the paywall and you paid for it. You paid for the institutions, universities, and the media could go there any day they want and debunk every bloody mouthpiece out there. They can go pay the money and say, well, we read the study. They clearly stated, right? And that study and this study had taken all six minutes to work it all out and tell the friggin' truth. And we can start putting nutrition back in our food because they engineered all the nutrition so that are our food. 
And there's a link below this video to DCA. And that's, that's about, a, about a whole bunch of studies, about the original study of DCA and the claims that it can reduce all tumors by 70% in the first three weeks. And they all found the same thing in their studies that it reduced all tumors, heart, liver, pancreas, breast, you know, brain cancers by 70% reduced tumors. That's survival. And it does not hurt another cell in your body. You go get leukemia, you go get the radiation from the hospital, they kill every cell in your body. It should never be allowed, ever, under any circumstances, to do that to the victims. To fill them up with more radiation. Hey, you might kill the cancer. The odds of surviving is so low, so few people survive it, and they're destroyed. You know why? That's, that's why the chemotherapy loses all the hair, because you just kill all the cells in their body. That's the most reprehensible thing you can do to another human. It's, it's unconscionable that people like that really do exist on the planet, and that all of our universities out there created this technology knowing better, but because they get money, because they get uh, to go to dances, they get to go to parties, they get to go to drink cocktails. And you can't have the job at the university unless you're willing to murder everybody with a fable. That's, it's not a fable, the fable being that radiation can help you, but they know it'll kill you and they got the education. Nobody out there can deny the truth if you got the education. But you have to sell your soul and buy into it. And then if you want to keep your check, you got to keep repeating the lie. If you want to keep your check, your pensions, you got to get up on TV and radio and tell uh, more lies. You want to keep your check, you got to look at your family every morning and say you're a good person when you know you're not. You got to look at your children and know you're lying to them every day, but you're doing it because you got a good dollar. Because your children are proud of you, because you're a professor in a university. In reality, you're a rat. You're a monster. You're a traitor to the human race. You're a despicable person. You have no, you have no uh, honor, and you will get none from me. You will get no respect from me. I know who you are. I know what you are. I know you got nothing to do with the human race. I know you sold out even your own family members so you can have a job. You know, you're the most despicable people on the planet and all your institutions out there. I can't trust any of you. I have to triple check everything that comes out of your mouth because you're deceptive. And that's what you do and that's why you got the jobs. It's because you're deceptive. Because you're willing to lie, you're willing to manipulate, you're willing to marginalize, you're willing to get up in the media. Media is willing to put you up there and willing never to question you. Because you come from a think tank, a.k.a. a university. That's all a university is. It's a globalist think tank meant to destroy you. The 4,800 peer-reviewed academic studies that are published every day are not to help you. Ever. Under any circumstances. Oh, Dan, it all trickles down. Shut your pie hole. We paid for it. It's not supposed to trickle down. It's supposed to be for us. We wouldn't have any of the issues we got right now if 4,800 peer-reviewed academic studies every day was to make life better. Not one of them are to make life better. Every one of them to keep a fable for a handful of corporations. How can you engineer all the food, uh, the nutrients out of your food, put toxins in it, and not come out and say something? Because you developed it. Because you made money off it. Because you got shares in the company. Because you sold out humanity. Because you're not human like us. You don't even care about your loved ones, but you know better than to tell them the truth. That's what media is like, too. Media, that's the only people they'll put up there. They won't put someone like me into the equation because it's slapping time. They haven't got a leg to stand on. They can't sit there and take a beating from someone like me or you. Because you're educated at this stage too. And that's the whole point. We destroy them. That's what we're doing every single time. Now, I would have been up a little earlier tonight, but Google has done another update in two weeks to the live streams. So who knows what this is going to work out like. Remember the videos lately, it takes two hours for them to pop up on my site. When they used to show up in ten minutes. And that half my viewers disappeared overnight. Which is insidious, really. That's incredible because I got almost 13,000 subscribers. So they didn't get it. Because that's what they do. They just de-index you. Like they've done with the other 122,000 pages 
on YouTube after Google bought it. Remember, it worked perfect for five years. When Google got finished with it, it's useless. And it's just a handful of corporations, politicians, and celebrities that they feed you, force feed you, and your loved ones, and your children, and the vulnerable, and the people who don't know any better. It's the same thing on Twitter and the same thing on Facebook. That was a good rant. And they got three headlines in. Study author, California iodine 131, probably double or triple what we reported. Uh, April 5th, 2012. And uh, just trying to find the name of that institution, whatever. Fukushima radiation plume contacted North America, California, with the greatest exposure in Central and Southern California, March 29, 2012. There was a canopy forming kelp. That was a study, environmental science and technology, California State University. Right? But then we got the NRC, and I've done a video. Uh, last week about Alison McFarland in the Senate. There's no models that we know about in our country or any other country showing radiation coming in America. That's perjury. That's criminal. That's their job. They got 3,900 employees and they can't find the California State University showing the Fukushima radiation plume contact North America at California with the greatest exposure in Central and Southern California. And nobody, dear, particularly that hideous bitch, Barbara Boxer, who I hate with a passion. You've got to understand what kind of deceit, de what kind of monster she really is. Right? She's truly a monster. She has access to all of this. They had that deer in a folder right in front of them in case somebody spoke up. Yeah, well, that study was discredited. What about the thousands at Springer? You can't go there and find the studies? What about at Wiley with the thousands of Fukushima studies that are hid away? You can't go there and find a couple of them? Why do we got those places for? So we can hide them away. So you don't have to answer. So I can't call you. I can't go in and read 3,900 studies out night after night to discredit these people because they're locked away. And they'll put me in jail. I can only rent it. Right? Like Thunder Dickhead Foot wanted me to pay $35 to read his study. That he Not his study, it was a whole bunch of people, but he was one of them. But I'm only allowed to rent it for 48 hours. I'm not even allowed to screen capture it. It's illegal. We paid for all of this. Right? We paid for every step along the way. And so the universities are creating all the technology that should never exist, that has no right that has no purpose, and that is contradictory to what their oaths are. That's the society you live in. That's where you send your children to get an education. How can you expect to get an education from pro think tanks? Right, seriously. Well, just went off, okay. Once again, you know, Fukushima plume to reach U.S. coast in months, measurable increase in radioactive material, Prolonged exposure for California lasting 10 years. A lot longer than that, stupid. The cesium that rained out in California, and I've covered it extensively, is not going to go anywhere for 300 years. Not going to go anywhere for 300 years. It's not just like fairy dust going to fall down all of a sudden. Oh, you know, if it had stayed out in the environment, it would have been radioactive for 300 years, but it came down, so it's okay. No, it doesn't work that way. It never goes away. And living in an environment with 50 Beckwolds, and I'll say goodnight to everybody, but living in an environment with 50 Beckwolds, background radioactivity, will cause permanent organ damage. And remember, children are extremely more vulnerable than adults for the same doses. Once again, go over and read Susan's. There's a link below. And watch the video. Show some support. She's been supporting us from day one. West Coast residents, dead man walking from Fukushima radiation. I haven't read it, but I know Susan. Um, and then read that other one. Battle for humanity nearly lost. Global food supply deliberately engineered to end life, not nourish it. Not nourish it. Once again, if you ate craft dinner or craft products, rather, Right? You will starve to death. 
Okay, AG Green Road. Thank you. Annabeck. Yeah, I know. I know Annabeck. Thank you. Reram, Kurtzer K. John Close. Thank you, John. Uh, we, we like you too, bud. Red Button Studios, Broken Ass Onlers, Just Passing Through, uh, DC, Char, I never said hi, Irinarel, Mary Sanders, Mr. Hemi, Pam, Lucky Krager, Nuts for Art, Albert, Steve Meyer, thank you, Stephen, Megan Rice, by the folks, Megan Rice is in jail. Maybe tomorrow night I should do the video about Megan Rice. Um, just a dedication for her, I think. We'll do that. I meant to do that tonight. I apologize for not getting that done to Megan. And um, if I got to, I'll even switch the name tomorrow night. But I'll, I'll, I definitely will remember. Thomas, thank you, Thomas. Um, once again, Thomas is an amazing artist. You'll find him in the second video of my favorite. First one is Janine. She's adorable. Fantastic vocals, really nice video, took a lot of work. They slapped it together in one day, but it takes talent just to get that far in the first place, folks. Remember that. It's original music in my favorite. And once again, you got to go visit Thomas, listen to some of his music, go support him. He's an outstanding soul, and that's what he does around here. He's been supporting us nonstop since he found us. Ruben, Mickey, Standing Foot, uh, just passing through. Terry, Sydney. Uh, let me see. I'm not going to rush this. I got like a. No, we're at the end of it. There we go. Gloria and Aqua. I love saying hi to you guys. I really do. That makes me feel good. There's something about it. It allows me to wind down. It really does. You know, I am dedicated. I'm at this all the time. I'm fortunate that I can do stuff like that. I'm fortunate that I have put so much time over the last eight years on radiation that I'm able to pick up and understand it and help people come to terms with it. And I'm fortunate um, that I have the fortitude to call out the people that I know should be called out, right? That's my dad. And I was taught that way, that you don't, you can't let people lie. See, I grew up in an environment, if you told a lie, you had to tell the truth right after because a lie is a very harmful thing. And you would only tell a lie as a joke, but then you would tell the truth and everybody would laugh again at you, right? These people never tell the truth. And maybe that's why I am like I am, I guess, right? Because I think a lie is really something that should never be allowed. Not, not from public speakers in particular like this, not from people that we turn to and that we're supposed to, like the University of Georgia and Dr. Dallas, right? The fact that he's lying and, and just go up and look him up in every single video he's lying, every friggin' one, and he's supposed to be the expert, right? And so if I don't call him out, I couldn't find a single person after who called him out. You know, I had no options. Before I came alive, I had to pump out a video. I took my time. It's a good video. And we'll catch you folks tomorrow night. And we're going to cover Megan Royce. You know, bless her heart. I have been following it, not as much as I should have, I guess. Um... But today, I kind of really resonated with me. So we'll cover her tomorrow night, and we'll send out our best wishes and hugs and kisses for her, right? Okay, folks, we'll catch you tomorrow night. Let's see if Google lets me off with the first click. Probably not. I like waving, you know me? <laughs> Refreshing. Google. This is like five times I had to sign in and sign in during the stream on two different computers. Stupidest, stupidest thing imaginable, eh? But here we are. We're still doing it. So we'll catch you folks tomorrow night. And just wait for the page to settle down. Anytime you're ready, Mr. Pagey. I'm not going to click any buttons till the page stops. There we go. There we go. Now I do the little wavy thingy because I like waving and clicking. <laughs>